So the High Performance Group is basically a group for which is, encompasses all our first, second year players and a selected group of, of other players that uh, we just want to ensure have a very clear understanding of what uh, high performance is as far as performance, preparation and recovery uh, and understand what elite habits and the life of an AFL footballer looks like. So it's, it's really an opportunity for us as development coaches to ensure that all of our first and second year players in particular have an understanding of what is required to succeed at this level. Last year we really just did focus in on the football component uh, and this year we've decided that there's so many aspects to, to these guys' lives and you know, getting that life balance. I think uh, there's so many traps in AFL football, uh, in particular one is gambling, we hear so much about it and we just thought it would be ideal opportunity to not only get a former best and fairest winner, but also get someone that's lived his life. I do all the responsible gambling for the NRL and for Cricket Australia. So out of all the clubs, um, out of all the associations around Australia, the Melbourne Footy Club is the last one, which is, which I, I guess is a little bit different considering I played for the club. So it's, um, it is finally great to be here. It's, um, I have more memories about this place than, than any other. Not so much in this room or in this, um, this area, but certainly down the Junction Oval and on the MC, on MCG. It's, um, sometimes you've got to wake up and kick yourself because uh, the opportunities that you guys have got in front of you are one that very few get to experience and one that will carry you on for the rest of your life. Um, you'll always be a Melbourne player, you'll always be an AFL player and don't underestimate that. And with that comes responsibility, with that comes wonderful opportunity. Being an AFL player opens up doors that you'll never imagine. Um, I never expected to be in radio. I never expected to get a couple of university degrees. Um, and that's all on the back of being able to play AFL footy. I didn't win a premiership. Uh, we didn't have the ultimate success. But I'm who I am today because of the Melbourne Footy Club it'll go like that. And I know you've heard it and you'll hear it every day. It'll go like that. You know, it's, it's not an uplifting story. It's, it's a warts and all story for the players. And, and out of everyone I speak to, the footballers understand it best. I think footy has changed enormously in the last dozen years. Uh, players now have to be more educated. They have to be more diligent with all the other issues going along. Um, you know, whether it's social media or betting or drugs or you know respect for women whatever the whatever the, the issue is I think they better understand it and now accept that it's a part of footy when I was playing it kind of came in and you were forced upon it but now it's now it's it's in your face and I think we've highlighted so many times players messing up on gambling or the lack of respect for women or racism that players realize if you don't get it right you're going to be front page of the Herald Sun and I don't think any player wants that yeah. I, I, you know, people ask me, how do you think Melbourne will go? I don't know, because I haven't, I haven't seen them train, haven't heard anything about them. I, I like that. You know, when you, you know, if you're a rich man, you're getting pumped up every two minutes. Well, he adds a lot of pressure on, on young players. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm buoyant about the season, but I don't know. I'm going to be like any other fan sitting in the stand waiting to see what, what unfolds.